Hello YouTube, my name is Abum and now I will show you about Microsoft Web Metric 3 and if you have a Windows XP you must install Web Metric 2 but here I use Windows 7 now I use uh, Web Metric 3 Okay, just type web metric in on Google search. Press enter and now you have a link like this. And you can download. This is a uh, free and you can download here set up install just click it I have a software and I must cancel here and now I go to my folder here I have web mat web metric Okay, web metric. Open this. You must have a connection, internet connection, because the setup uh, will be download about a file, installer file, and if you double click the application here if you download and double click you can uh, open the software but the software will be download a file all a file to install webmetric 3 and again if you have a windows xp you must choose webmetric 2 okay after you double click the the application you will be get display like this you can choose option here and I click ok and as default like this now just click install now I have Microsoft web metric 3 you can direct download like in here or you just press accept and I have a message like this in my computer I must install IIS 7.5 or IIS 8 Express ok I click finish and exit now I go to here and I type IIS uh, 8 Express okay like this download and here I have a link right click and go to the link and you must download the application install to your computer and after that you can open you can double click again webmetric 3 Okay. And okay, maybe like this. Okay, maybe I choose the here maybe. Okay, I use 
are far. Okay. All next and here I go to okay and start now I open my file and I try to uh, maybe this double click uh, okay sorry finish I try to x64 okay and accept this install and after install I I as it express uh, you must go again to your software web metric and double click again install again okay maybe like this and I will be trying this video and maybe next video after I install web metric okay I go back here and double click and here I have a display like this and again I press install and here accept and will be process again you must wait until this process this process finish okay now I have a successful install and click finish and exit now I will try to open web metric okay this is a web metric and you can use this software with a programming maybe JavaScript maybe PHP maybe HTML and uh, an other okay I will click this not now and you can uh, go here new and maybe empty site okay here I have a uh, empty site and you can right click add a new file and you can choose all about script about HTML about ESP PHP XML and other JavaScript okay like this and if I choose HTML and press OK I have a uh, like this and if I test maybe test web metric 3 maybe like this and okay I copy this and it's one closing it's one and paste here and if I save my file go to save here and uh, run you have like this okay and I choose maybe run Firefox I have a HTTP error okay maybe I must save ok 
here you can choose like this I have a file here and request setting Okay, I must, sorry, I must add a name index. Okay, maybe like this. And now if I reload, I have test web metric 3. Okay, maybe this is about my video and next video I will uh, show you about how use web metric 3 to PHP, maybe like this. Okay, if you like my tutorial, please subscribe my YouTube channel and if you want, go to my site as a studio.org and you will learn more more design, programming or anything you want. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.